What is up, y'all? It's Jerry from Team Unco Studios back again with another really quick basic tutorial. So in the last couple of tutorials, you guys, we kind of started laying down some foundation for drums. We went over tracks and kind of how everything works and that whole track section right there. Now, let's start jumping into key groups, all right? So this is the video I know a lot of people have been waiting for. So with nothing further, let's jump into this, you guys. So if you notice here on my screen, I've kind of got the basics startings of a song here. So we've just got this little lo-fi kit. Okay, nothing major, all right? So let's go ahead and start adding some stuff to this, all right? So we're gonna do that using our key groups. So there's two main ways to use key groups. I'm gonna show you both ways and um, hopefully it'll make sense to you guys how they kind of are the same, but they're different, okay? So the first way, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to open a new track. So if we go to our track, you know, little arrow guy here and bring up a new track. Let's go ahead and say we're going to label this bass. Okay. So we've got a bass track now. All right. Um, but you notice I still got this lo-fi kit in here. So if we go over to the next icon in our, you know, little track toolbar menu is key groups. Now we've got this program too here. So in order to go ahead and start getting something into this, we're going to kind of use the same method that we did with the, you know, kits and everything and putting a programmed kit into our pads, right? So the way that we did that was we went over to our expansion packs here and we brought this expansion up, which the F9 instrument is pretty standard for uh, MPC beats. This comes with the Akai MPK. Um, and so if you go down to your programs here, you'll notice there's a little menu now that says instruments. And if you open that up, it gives you all these preloaded programs that are already key groups that are already, they're already done, they're edited, and they're ready to go already. So if we just open one of these up, and let's say we want this, uh, this spike bass here. Okay, that sounds cool. Let's say we want that spike bass. I'm going to go ahead and double click, and I'm going to bring it over here to my program folder for my key groups. Throw it in and now, oh, let's bring it down an octave. I like that. That sounds cool. So I now have that in my key groups. Okay. So I'm now playing that on my MPK mini. All right. So let's go ahead and start this here. Okay. So we can go ahead and lay something down really simple here. Okay, so that's simple, right? Something simple enough, you know, we're just keeping this really basic, guys. So that's one way to do it. I can go and I can load whatever I want into here, right? If I want to go and I want to load some, you know, strings, I can load some strings and I can go and I can load some piano, you know, and it's all going to be in there, you know? So it is all going to end up showing up here in my folder here. You know, it's going to show up in my little program folder, all right? Now, let's say I just want a certain section of something, right? I just want a certain sample, one single sample of something. I can also build my own key group, all right? And that's the next way I'm going to show you guys how to do this, is by building your own key group by using your program edit, okay? So if we navigate now up to the top uh, left here again, we have our main mode. We have our track view, and that next icon over, guys, is our program edit, okay? So when you hit your program edit and you come down to your console and you open that up, you're going to get this stuff right here, all right? So we're going to go ahead and close our pads because we're not going to need that. And now we've got all of this stuff here, okay? So this is basically where it shows what you have in that sample layer, okay, for your key group. So if you can see, we have that Insta bass in there right now because that's what we've got in there, all right? So if we go ahead and open a brand new track, and this is important, you want to open a new track for this, okay? So let's go ahead and open a new track here, all right? Now you notice our Insta bass is still there, which is okay. Let's go ahead and say we're going to call this, um, I don't know, well, let's put some strings. Strings, Okay. All right, so we're gonna call this strings, all right? So let's go now and we're gonna go program some strings to go into our key group, all right? So the way we're gonna do that first is you're gonna come down to your little program folder here, you're gonna open the arrow again, and you are gonna go to program two where there is nothing on it, right? It's just a, a program with nothing on it. We haven't programmed anything to it yet. So now if I hit my keys, you notice I've got nothing coming out, right? Because there's nothing there. 
So let's go ahead and find something to put there. The way we're going to do that is if you notice all the way to my far right, every time that I've been bringing in a different program, all of the single samples are all loading into my sample pool over here. So if you notice, see, those are all just the single notes going down the, the keyboard, right? So if I want, I could bring any one of these samples and run just from that section of the keyboard or piano or whatever it is. The way that I'm going to do that is by coming back over this way and putting a sample into my sample layers right here by just opening this little menu with another little arrow because MPC Beats loves to put arrows all over the screen, which is okay because, you know, they serve a purpose. So if I hit that little arrow and you notice when I scroll down, I've got all of these samples in here now, right? So let's say I want, what were we, strings, right? Let's let's put some strings. So if I'm, I'm gonna do some strings here, let's go to this strings, and now I have got strings in my key group, okay? So that's one way you could do it too. Now let's say I also want something else in here too. Let's say I want some Insta Piano. So why don't we go to some Insta Piano too and put C2 Insta Piano, and now I've got this. Okay, so it's both of those two samples now together as one, and they make that sound, okay? This, okay, it makes that. Now, in order to identify this in your program folder, we want to make sure to name this program right here, Strings. So now we're going to rename that Strings, okay? So now we know that that in our program folder is where we have that program at. Now, let's say I want to do another program, right? Let's say I want to open up a different one. How do I do that, right? Because now there's no there's no program 2 in here anymore, right? How do I get another program in there so that I have nothing here and I can start something new? Good question. The way that you're going to do that is this little plusy guy right here, okay? So I'm going to zoom in there. That little plus guy, if I hit it, boop, now it pops me in a new program. Okay, and so now when I hit my keys, I've got nothing in there, right? Because there's nothing on that program. If you notice right here on these, these layers, I've got nothing there, okay? So now let's say for this layer, I wanna throw in some of this piano and just have just this piano in there. So now I've got that, right? So now we can play this. Okay, so that sounds cool, so let's do that. And that's it, you guys, that's it. I mean, you can sit here and play with this all day long, you know? If that is what I was gonna use for that, I would make sure to change these to piano, right? So I would make sure now to change this to my piano. No. And then I would make sure to change my strings now to piano, now that I know that that's what's on there, right? Remember, I started with strings, but I ended up putting piano on that track. So now I'm going to go to a new track. Let's open up a new track here, track four, because we've already got all that other stuff on there. And now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go and open another program again, and I can start the process all over. If you notice on my... Uh, MPK Mini, I've got nothing there, and I can restart again and put another sample in there. Or I can go to my, uh, you know, F9 over here, and I can load another sample. It just goes on and on and on, you guys. So that's basically it. That's the breakdown on key groups, you guys. I hope it wasn't too confusing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. We love answering your guys' questions. If there's anything more you want to see about key groups, let me know, and I can go, you know, further into detail um, about that, okay? We're coming out with some sequencing videos. We're going to be coming out with another video on plugins, just like this one. We hope this was helpful, guys. Peace and love from all of us at Team Uncle Studios and Team Uncoordinated. Stay weird. We love you guys, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.